Hey everyone, in the last tutorial I showed you how to log into WordPress and make an account and then get started on your website. And in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize your homepage. Okay, right now I don't expect you to really do a whole lot because we will get to your posts and pages and things like that. But when somebody does go to your site, you do want them to have some relevant pictures. And of course this is all about cycling and there's pictures of food here. So what we can do is I can click down here on the edit button. Okay, this is going to allow me to edit my home page. And what's going to pop up is kind of a page builder, like a block editor, that's going to allow us to change all these different sections of the home page. And it'll give you this kind of tutorial if you want to go through it. It's a short interactive tour that lets you, you know, that explains to you what everything does. But I'm going to go ahead and show you that as well here. So. Obviously, I want to change this text, locally farmed organic vegetable delivery, and I might want to change this to, um, you know, check out our reviews every week. And then, you know, maybe have another tagline here. Now, this get in touch button is a con, it's really going to take you to the contact page, which you don't have a contact page. Okay, so you might want to edit the link. This is a, um, a way to edit what it's linking to and you can link to a different website you know or you can link to if you wanted to make a contact page you could um, you could um, you know go ahead and delete it altogether if you want to um, you can unlink it too um, if you select it and we want to not make it a link anymore um, we can just press the unlink button and now it's not a link anymore so for now I would recommend you probably you know, don't want to link to a page that's not there, and so you might want to just unlink it for now. Maybe in the future when you do make a contact page, you might want to re-enable that link. But for now, I'm going to disable it. I'm going to click over here on this picture. This is just a picture of food, which I don't really want. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and press replace. Uh, now it's kind of cool you can, you know, go to the Pexels free photos library, and that's going to give you a lot of free stock images and um, or you can upload your own okay you also have google photos if you have google photos connected and then your media library is all the photos you've up uploaded in the past which we haven't uploaded any so we won't go in there and i'm just going to go to pexels to get some free photos and i'll type in the word um you know bicycle oops okay so let's see if this was about cycling trails and stuff let me just choose this one i'll press select and then it's going to let me insert the image and then you know uh show how i want it to be viewed so it'll give me some viewing options if i want it to fully cover the entire page or if i want it to just take up half of the page or part of the page um, however it may work we'll see how what it says here there it is okay so this is a nice little picture of a of a bike and over here on the right you can decide you know how you want it to be viewed um, 50 percent left or right you can see where the focus is if it wasn't exactly where you wanted it to be you can move that focus to the right or to the left and i can kind of center it there um, you can usually want it to be full size because we want it decently high quality um, and then you can decide how, how wide you want it to, the media width. So I might go a little bit wider there. Okay, and then down here, services, what we do. Now, again, I, I don't know what you want to put here, but you can just kind of talk about maybe different topics that you'll be covering, or you can really just make this be your own. So this is a very WYSIWYG. It's, it's called What You See Is What You Get. Um, and so you can just click and type and edit all the things that you want and really just make this your own. And just like I did editing those other pictures, you literally just press replace and then you can go back to Pexels or upload your own and make uh, your own photos. You can add your own captions um, and anything you want here. Now, for me starting out, I really don't want to uh, do too much here because I don't have a lot of content yet. But I just want you to know, too, these are all blocks. They're all big sections. And your theme will look different than mine, but you can edit them all the same way. So you can see here that what I have selected here is basically this is a big block of, you know, what we do, services. If I wanted to delete that whole section, if you have it highlighted here, you can see that the blue frame is covering the whole entire section. 
I can click up here and um, either let's see, right now it's in a group um, but I'll probably want to just if I wanted to delete it um, I'm gonna press the delete button and it just deleted that whole section if you want to undo that you can command Z or control Z on a on a PC and it's command Z on a Mac which lets you undo what you just did now nothing here will actually change publicly until you press the update button and I'm gonna go ahead and press update for now and it's kind of a way to just save it while I'm working here in case I mess something up um, so any of these sections have a new you know area if you want to add uh, your own text and if you want to delete something you literally just go ahead and click on it and press the delete button and it's and it's gone if you want to add your own section you can also appear this add block okay when I press add block you're gonna see it's gonna let you type in a paragraph if you just want to start typing some text you can type in a gallery like a photo gallery if you want to do that um, there's lots of different blocks here within the WordPress world um, and as long as you find that little plus sign it's gonna say add block and you can add a new block a pull quote um, and then I could browse all and this is just getting probably too too much but when you browse all the different blocks that they have you could do things like you know create a new layout with columns so if I wanted to create like a kind of like these are you know these are columns here if you go up here there's one two three columns if I wanted to create a 70 30 column um, that's basically what I could do here so there it is it's 70 and that's 30 now in this column I might put a picture in this column I might put text or vice versa so I don't want you to spend too too much time on this I just want basically you to be able to go into your home page and just start making it your own just start editing it if there's anything you don't want delete it if you want to try to add something new use those blocks to try to do it now um, each block once you have it selected is going to give you some options over here on the right uh, which will let you choose like things like size or appearance and, and all that kind of stuff and that is affecting each block okay so as you select blocks you'll see options here and then you'll see options over here on the right now if you want to change some global um, things within this whole page there's a page tab and then there's a block tab obviously the block covers if there is a block that's selected but the page um, will pub, you know it will change you know maybe something like the visibility if you wanted I don't want you to do this but if you wanted this one to be a password protected page or a private page um, if you wanted to um, you know make a featured image and what that means is once you have like a bunch of blog posts being pulled in it might have like a little thumbnail next to it um, and so things like that I don't think there's much that you need to do here but just be aware that there are some like global page customizations you can make as well if you had multiple authors you could change the author here um, but yeah for the most part you'll probably just be editing block by block and then pressing update okay and then when we're done um, I will want you to submit your website just your home page for now okay you'll notice here at the top it's giving you a site that says wordpress.com slash page and and if I was to open this in like um, I'm gonna go I'll go ahead and open up an incognito window just so you can see what happens um, this is unviewable by anybody who's not logged in as you nobody can see the the that post because we're in the editor mode okay we're, we're working with blocks and we're on this big editor mode and that's basically what we see so when you turn in your link I don't want to see this long crazy URL okay because I, I can't view your editor mode what I want is the public version of this of this page and so what I'm gonna do is actually click over here to the page view and down here there's this button called permalink this permalink is the public version of what we've been doing okay so when you submit your website I want to see the permalink link okay and all it is is just your your domain okay so make sure when you submit your site um, this week that you give me your domain that is correct and you might want to try it out in different in like an incognito window to make sure that the link you give us is the right link okay so that's just how to get started with your WordPress site uh, we will get to posting and pages here in further tutorials